In this video, we are going to look at the switch function in Google Sheets. So let's get started with our switch function. So equal sign switch. And let's first understand what it does. So from the docs here, you can see that the switch function takes an expression, the value to be checked. Our expression is the value to be checked. And case one, the first case to be checked against the expression, then value one, the corresponding value to be returned if case one matches the expression. Then down here, case two or default, if, the, if any of those cases does not match, you can also give a default value which will be returned. That's not clear. This will be clear as we look at this example. For example, here I can say my expression is this value in B2, comma, and I'm gonna say if that value is 10, what should be returned? I'm gonna say log, comma. If the value is say 20, what should be returned? I'm gonna say medium. So this is how this one works. And if it is 30, what's gonna be returned? Maybe high. Now, all other cases, now this is my default value. In all other cases, I just need to say very high. Like so, then I close my brackets. So when I do that, autofill comes into play and it asks me whether all this is fine. I'll say, okay. So when you check, you see when it is 10, it is low. That's what we expected. When it is 20, say medium. When it is 30, say high. And all other cases, this is my default value right here, is say very high. Of course, you can do it like this. Or alternatively, let me copy this and say, equal sign, so instead of saying B2, I can take the range from B2 to B6. I say B6, like so. This one will give me the same value. Here I test the whole range all at once. So I'm testing this range. When you find 10, return low, when you find 20, return medium. When you find 30, return high. And all other cases return very high. The switch function can also be used in grading, as you can see in the next example. So you can say switch. Like so we're going to test our grading here. Now, there are two ways to do this. Assuming A, B, C, and D are all passes and F is a fail. So either one way you can say is if the answer, if, if it is A in quotes, I'm sure you put quotes, that is a pass. So you say pass. If it is a B, also return a pass. Can see if it is a C. So now you see that it becomes too much. A is a pass, B is a pass, C is a pass. So instead of doing so, you can decide to say, okay, I test my range because I know A, B, and C are all passes. So I say, but this one is only F is the fail. So I'll just say F. I re if it is F, I return fail. And all other cases, that means if it is A, B, C, D, I just put pass. So this is a shorter way of doing it. Instead of saying A pass, B pass, C pass, that is very long. So if you have a case like this, just make the exception, the F fail and the rest 
pass. So when I do that, you can see that it is pass, 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 and F is fail. So this is how we use the switch function in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching. Hope this has been helpful. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit the notification button to be notified of more videos when I publish them. Have a great day. Thank you.